Okay, right now I'm going to uh, just show a setup for just a straight rate fertilizer product on the Ag Leader Integra system. Uh, we start out by, by uh, clicking on this start field operation and uh, it shows the crop year and the grower, farm and field. Uh, on the farm, we have, uh, you can look up past jobs by just clicking the black arrow and they're all listed there. Or you can start a new job by pushing the plus sign. We're going to do that. And it says farm name. We're just going to call this M. FA, hit green, and uh, you name your field, we're just going to call it number one. Then we click the blue arrow, and this right here, we just go right on past this page, just click the blue arrow to the right. Here we show our products, we select a product. Right now it shows map, that's for the front bin, and map two is for the back bin. We've got the VRT bed in it right now, so we've got two beds. If we just had the one, we would unclick the this active button here, and then we just have the one product. That means we've got two in here right now, we're going to make second bin active, and the back bin you always have to have a, a number two in it. So we got map in the front. We'll put map two for the second bin. Again, we'll click the right arrow. Might take just a couple seconds. Again here, we just go right on through this page. Don't make any changes. It's just showing that the product is dispenses in pounds. What we want. Click the green arrow. Okay, we got our home page. Click down here on this grid. This looks like a spreadsheet. It's a grid. That's to set up our rate and our density. Okay, right here we click on this window to expand the page. And you'll see our wrench emblem there for tools. Click it. This is the set our rate. Right now we got 130 for the front bin and a rate of 100 for the back bin. We can change those whatever we want. Say like we want a total of, of uh, 300. We set the 150 for the front bin. We can set the back bin for 150. Two green button. Now we have click this arrow. As you can see, we've got 150 front bin. We've got a rate of 150 for the back bin. This front number is our target rate. And as we're spreading through the field, you'll see the actual rate that it's putting on. And it should be the same as the target rate. Down here, we select our our spinner RPM speed and the density. And right now it's showing the density of 49. I'm not sure really at this time what the map is. I, that seems a little low, but we'll leave it at that for for this video purpose. Got an 80 foot spread width and the uh, spinner speed 690, which that when we did our when we did our uh, test, the 690 RPM seemed like it worked really good. So we'll leave it at that. Push this arrow here to get out of this page. That's all there is to it. Uh, this toggle button right here is what turns our spinner RPMs on 
you'll see when I turn on, you'll see that spinner RPMs come on. I just now did. I'll turn it off and you'll see the RPMs drop. And then, uh, these two numbers here is the RPMs of the conveyor as it's turning as you're applying the product in the field. In the next video I'll show how you set your AB point. That's it for right now.